All right, here's Mike and Stacy Dunn again. Uh, we are heading out to test the thruster uh, that Mike uh, put on my uh, prop. It uh, gives me more speed already at idle speed. I have to really watch myself going through our shallow bay, which uh, has a mostly idle speed areas where we live. Um, it's got several applications, and Mike will tell you about some of the ones that the guys will be interested in. Uh, it's really easy to put on. It, the first one took me an hour. The second one took me 45 minutes. It's self-explanatory how to get it on. Uh, it wraps around your propeller. Uh, fits on the engine. This is a Mercury 60 horse Bigfoot, so it took a 16 and a half thruster. Um, at low idle speed, at uh, 1200 RPM, I'm getting 4.1 knots, which is really, really good. Uh, there's no wind, no current here right now, so I'm getting true reading. Um, I'm hoping to get about four and a half more miles an hour. If any better than that, it will be really great. Uh, that's how the top speed though. That's top speed. This this boat would only go at about 13, 13 and a half top with the prop I have on. Uh, we do manatee tours, so we're not into the speed. Uh, we're more about going slow, having plenty of uh, slow speed, Protect the such as reverse and all that. And I did notice when I unloaded off the trailer after I put the thruster in, I didn't have to use half the horsepower I normally do to get off the trailer. They just pulled the red right off. That saves in gas. Gas is uh, priceless right now. Um, another application is many. Uh, this this bay particular is very shallow, and with boats going through without any kind of guard on them, they are causing a lot of turbidity and um, pulling up a lot of the uh, freshwater plants in our particular bay that uh, are homes to small little fish that grow big for big fishermen. This area is not only about manatees, but it's also about great fishing with redfish and uh, snook and all sorts of uh, tarpon. tarpon. Yeah, we love to go fishing too. But uh, it has many, many applications. That to the river now we're going out scalloping again and uh, we've had luck so far and we hope to have more luck they're delicious and we're going to see how what our speeds um, what speeds we get out of my 20 foot uh, pontoon when we get out there so uh, we're signing off right now and we'll let you know how it goes man I feel like I'm on a speedboat hey, Ooh, that's 16 and a half out of it 5,000 rpm wow and uh, it's so smooth too this, this boat is We'll only go 5,000 of them, and I have profit for that way. So I won't get any better speed than that out of it. Wow, I don't think I need any more. This is a pontoon, you know, after all. Just think what it could do for a big, a big bass boat or even a salt water boat going out fishing. Get you out there quicker and safer for the environment. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. Wow, I'm impressed. I like this thruster. What do you think, hon? I think it's sweaty. Alright. Well, at least so, we know we'll be saving some anties around here, but other people could be saving their environments. Alright, we're back from a, a great day of uh, scalping, and uh, thruster has our approval. Right? Yes, it does. We got actually 17 4 and 4 knots. On this little bitty pontoon. Oh. And I'm a tri-tune. Alright. Well, the engine was awesome. Gain four miles an hour and a half. All right. Well, we have thumbs up for the thruster. We hope you all enjoy it too. Sure, take, take the ride. ride.